My name is Jay Lasseter. I'm from Cherry Hill, New Jersey, and I'm a proud patient advocate for uh, the compassionate use of medical marijuana in the state. I don't remember what the bill is called or the number, but I think y'all know what I'm talking about. Um, I'm also living proof that medical marijuana is a safe, effective, and um, well, it's, it's a rational tool in my toolkit for managing my HIV. Um, I take this every week. This is one week's worth of medication. If, and the consequences are, uh, well, occasionally, let's just put it this way. I'm very lucky that I have access to these meds. And when I take them, I say a little prayer to God, thanking him for the access. And then another one, just say, please just keep them down. Because obviously they're not gonna work if they're in the commode. And, um, you know, I have concerns about kids smoking pot. I mean, you know, I don't want this to be like California. I don't like cigarettes. I, I don't like smoke. But, you know, frankly, you know, we smoke because our stomachs are rebelling. We can't take Marinol. We can't take pills. Um, so we have to bypass the stomach. And that's why it needs to be smoked instead of ingested. I wish there was a better way that didn't get my, uh, my clothes stinky. But, uh, but there's not. Uh, my regimen is tolerable. I'm doing very well. I'm healthy. My immune system is robust. And that is, I believe, because of my use of this medication to keep my appetite really healthy. A lot of times you see situations where people are using medical marijuana to keep from dying or to die with dignity. I'm not about that. I keep, I, I take medical marijuana to stay healthy, to sort of, you know, live with some dignity. And, um, you know, gosh, I... I really sort of respect the other, you know, the other side, my opponents, and I'm sorry they didn't stick around to hear what I had to say, but it's really, really hard to hear their arguments talking about the FDA not, not testing this stuff. I, I don't need the FDA to test it. I've tested it. And when I'm faced with a stark choice of being a criminal or being tethered to a commode all day, I'm, I'm afraid it's a very easy choice for me to make. And um, I'm glad that it's only four or five times a month. There are people downstairs that are so sick that they can't even get out of bed to, you know, to go to work, to have, you know, any kind of quality of life and certainly not to testify, you know, before you good people. So with regards to the uh, current stalemate that we're in, um, you know, I'm going to take Chris Christie at his word. His battle cry at his inaugural address was government is too big. And frankly, I couldn't agree more. I, I, I like Governor Christie. I want the government out of my pocketbook. But, you know, frankly, I want them out of my medicine chest as well. And um, with regards to, uh, to, the, uh, to the people who are downstairs, I say God bless them because they're in wheelchairs. They can't jump through hoops to get to the fourth floor, more or less, to, uh, you know, accommodate these regulations that keep seeming to change every few months or so. So thank you for your hospitality, and I'll turn it over to you. Thank you. Hi, my name is Justin Alpert. I am an attorney in New Jersey who regularly represents